Hi Leos, welcome to Prefer Her Tarot, where I love to see that you prefer me. First, I would like to thank you guys for clicking on this video. Of course, if you haven't already, go ahead and click that subscribe button for me. And if you guys want to be notified when I upload new videos, go ahead and click that notification bell. So we're going to get into the sign of Leo, and this will be for May the 15th through the 18th. Remember that time is only an illusion, roles to be reversed, and not to get caught up on the gender of the cards, because we all have masculine and feminine energy, okay? Let's get into this reading, Leo. See what's going on with you guys. So we just hope, hopefully, we get some good messages. <laughs> hope we get a good reading now here for the sign of Leo. Messages for the sign of Leo, please and thank you. All right, let's get to this. And the sun pops right out. All right, the sun card. You guys showing up strong in your reading. Truth, clarity, honesty, peace, contentment, and check this out. The moon at the bottom of the deck. Okay, divine. I mean, masculine energy, feminine energy. More messages here for the sign of Leo. I feel like you guys have been seeing through some illusions, seeing through some um, things that wasn't clear, right? We have the devil card here coming out. Okay. Could be dealing with a Capricorn. But this sun trumps the devil all day. Okay. Light being shined on some toxicity, lower vibrational energy, the king of swords, someone's being str str strategic, logical, knowing what they want here. More messages here for the sign of Leo. More messages here for the sign of Leo. Not taking this one, but we are going to take this ten of swords here, the will of fortune, and two of swords. All right, you may be feeling backstabbed and betrayed by a a Capricorn. I was about to say by a devil. Um, things are changing, though. Things are about to change. Closing out a painful cycle, going towards fortunate events. Um, either you were indecisive about something or someone was indecisive about you with two of swords running right underneath you. We have the nine of, nine of pentacles. Someone went about their business, um, independence, taking care of themselves. Focus on themselves, happy with themselves. We have the three of swords here. Mm -hmm. Right underneath the devil. Yeah, that's why I feel this. This um some love vibrational energy that caused some pain. This person, this could be this Capricorn energy that may have caused some heartbreak, or you may have broken their heart. We have the seven of wands here also. Creating boundaries here. Feeling blocked, you may have blocked someone else out. We have the Six of Cups here at the bottom of the deck. Someone from your past, past life soulmate connection here. You could have blocked someone out after feeling betrayed, backstabbed here. More messages, one more card here for the sign of Leo. Okay, we have the Queen of Pentacles here. Taurus Virgo Capricorn Energy. Focusing on your finances here, your abundance, being able to take care of this. We have the Seven of Cups here at the bottom of the deck. Options. Get some clarify you said why why is the sun card here for the sign of Leo? Clarify this sun card here. Clarify the sun card here for the sign of Leo. Why is the sun card here? Not taking them. Hold on. Clarify the sun card, please, and thank you for the sign of Leo. We have the Knight of Cups. Someone could be reaching out with an apology, messages of love going back and forth um, between you and another. Six of Swords, receiving a peace of mind. So someone could be reaching out with an apology that brings you a peace, a peace of mind. Why is this devil card here? Clarify the devil. Excuse me. Why is the devil card here? For the sign of Leo. Hold on. Too many cards just hooked up. <sighs> Clarify the devil card, please. All right, here we go. The Seven of Swords, yeah. Last deception. Someone being, um, un someone not being true. <laughs> someone trying to get away with something. Yeah, there could have been some conflict arguments with this Two of Swords and the Three of Swords. Seeing that someone probably want wanted the truth, but the truth wasn't there. Or someone wasn't seeing things clearly here, which brought some pain. Why is this Ten of Swords here? We have the, huh, chopping cards like a mall. The Nine of Pentacles here. Independent. Self-sufficient. Seven of Pentacles waiting. Okay, so someone stabbed 
Mm. Feeling stabbed in the back and then you start to focus, focus on your independence. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? Clarify the Wheel of Fortune here. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here for the sign of Leo? Please and thank you. We have the Four of Cups. All right. You may have been feeling rejected. Not fulfilled. Discontent. That is changing. Oh, that's what this is. So you've been feeling single, feeling like you're going to be alone for the rest of your life. <laughs> that's not going to be true at all. Things are changing. And you're going towards this Queen of Pentacles energy. Okay. That's what it is. Temperance card here. You've been patient. You've been waiting. Why is the Two of Swords here? Could it be dealing with a Sagittarius? Clarify the Two of Swords here. All right, here we go. Three of Cups. Could be a third-party situation. Someone trying to reconnect with you. You you don't want to see it. Ten of Pentacles here at the bottom of the deck. Uh, Earth energy towards Virgo Capricorn energy here. That is abundance, legacy, empire energy. Why is the three of swords here? So we have two threes with a third party connection for sure. I definitely feel that. And then we have the three of swords and the seven of swords here. And we already have the ten of swords here. Why is the three of swords here? Mm. The Hierophant and the Page of Cups. Teaching and learning experience about, I'm guessing, dealing with immature people. Who wasn't on your level when it comes down to emotions. This could be vice versa also. The world card here closing out cycles. Being hurt and still not being afraid to love. Why is the seven of wands here? Judgment card. Making a decision to, here to put up your guards. Create boundaries. Eight of swords. Eight of swords. Someone was mentally entrapped. Mentally entrapped. Mental entrapped. Uh, trapped. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Self-imposed imprisonment here. Why is the Queen of Pentacles here for the sign of Leo? The Ace of Pentacles. Boom. Bow. Someone's offering a new beginning here. And offering something that can lead to commitment. That's what I really feel because we go from the Nine of Swords feeling backstabbed and betrayed. And then we go to the Queen of Pentacles being offered with something. King of Cups. I feel like someone is expressing their um, feelings and emotions, emotionally mature here. Someone became more logical here, taking things slow. Why is the hyphen here for the sign of Leo? Clarify this hyphen, please, and thank you. Why is the hyphen here for the sign of Leo? Clarify the hyphen here for the sign of Leo. Six of Swords. The Spirit Social Universe was pushing you out of a situation that was, um, was painful, causing you a lot of hurt. Trying to, yeah, they, yeah, you was, you was forced into a situation that would, um, better suit you. The magician manifesting here, new things. I'm going to drop the card, give me a second. Why is the judgment card here, please, and thank you. Clarify the judgment card here, the hanging man. After gaining a new perspective, after feeling stuck. You made a decision to put up your boundaries. Put your guards up. Block someone, some, something, someone out. The world closing out cycles here. Why is the hanging man here for the sign of Leo? Clarify the hanging man here. All right, here we go. Two of Pentacles. Balancing. Maintaining. Handling. Taking control. Having a lot of things going on. Wondering how you're going to do it, but creating a way to do so. Two of Wands taking a different approach on the situation here. Why is the... Um, hold on. Page of Pentacles. Why is the Ace of Pentacles here? I'm like, how is a Page of Pentacles making an offer to a queen? Okay, anyway, this could be a person that's younger than you. Three of Pentacles here. Eight of Cups. Someone wants to hold on to you. Someone wants to work it out. Someone has walked away and they're ready to come back towards you. 
after seeing that you walked away and started to work on yourself. That's what I see. We have the Queen of Swords here at the bottom of the deck, being logical here, right? Why is the Three of Cups here? Clarify this Three of Cups, please, and thank you. Why is this Three of Cups here? There you go again. Page of Pentacles. The Younger Taurus, Virgo Capricorn Energy here. Someone uh, mastering a craft, a skill, an offer, a gift. Someone coming with a gift. We have the Two of Cups here at the bottom of the deck. Soulmate Connection. Someone misses you. You miss someone here. Why is the Seven of Swords here? Clarify the Seven of Swords here for the sign of Leo. Clarify the Seven of Swords here for the sign of Leo. Clarify the Seven of Swords here, please. What is the Seven of Swords here for the sign of Leo? I want to know. All right, we have the Five of Swords and the Nine of Cups. Someone could have been a, a drinker. Someone is a drinker. Cause fights when they drink. <laughs> and it's caused a tower moment here. Something, yeah. Was going to cause a tower moment. Overindulgence. I really feel that. Not being stable. Stable here. Anything else here for the sign of Leo? Before we go into an oracle. Anything else here for the sign of Leo? Please and thank you. Guess not. That's it, Leo. Oh, we have two cards. We have the Ace of Wands and the Temperance card. Creative thoughts. And then we have Sagittarius energy here. Nine of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Someone's ready to give up. Tired. Pushing through, though. This Eight of Wands here. Mmm. -hmm. Someone's definitely being patient with an emperor energy, I feel. But at the same time, it's becoming burdensome. Why is the temperance card here? Right, um, waiting for new beginnings and stuff. Why is the temperance card here for the sign of Leo? Ace of Cups, waiting on this new love opportunity. Waiting on this new love. Being patient with this love. Because Nine of Cups and the Ace of Cups will be... Wish fulfillment, right? Six of Pentacles. Someone is wanting this equal give and take. Waiting for some. Waiting. Maybe this is you needed to take this leap of faith, or another to take a leap of faith towards you to have this equal give and take. Why is the Ace of Wands here? Clarify this Ace of Wands, please. Clarify the Ace of Wands, please. <clears throat> Why is the Ace of Wands here for the sign of Leo? Clarify the Ace of Wands here. Why are you showing me the Ace of Wands? Because we just have a new beginning. Strength card here. Six of Pentacles. Having the strength to create this new situation that would be reciprocal. That would give you this equal give and take. Why is the Ace of Cups here? Hey, why is the Ace of Cups here? Please and thank you. Wow. Taking the first one that I seen pop out. The Seven of Pentacles. Waiting. Patiently waiting for love. Wait, patiently waiting for things to grow. The Empress here. Allowing people to come towards you. Allowing things to come towards you. Being the creator. The chariot card underneath that. Why is the strength card here? Alright. Two of Wands. Having the strength to take a different approach towards the situation. Which was towards your passions, I believe. And allowing things to come towards you. And seeing your shifts come in. Okay. So, let's get a message from the Oracle. And I'm getting it from the Whispers of the Ocean deck, and we're going to get up out of here, Leo. Okay, messages for the sign of Leo. Please and thank you when it comes to this spread. Messages for the sign of Leo. When it comes to this spread. <clears throat> messages for the sign of Leo when it comes to this spread. All right, here we go. Let's get into this message real quick. What message do you have for the sign of Leo? What message do you have for the sign of Leo? Thank you. Take note. Take note. Number 22. We have your answers are being given to you. Quieting. External voices and excessive noise will give you the chance to hear what is being offered. Okay. Bottom of the deck. Clearing the excess, you are entering a transitional phase and would benefit and, and would benefit from clear, clearing away excess clutter, whether it is in your physical body or your physical space. Yes. I am working 
on focusing on my workout plan daily myself so let's read this message <laughs> Take a moment to really hear what is being said. Put aside any preconceptions and allow yourself to imagine a new approach to this situation. Stepping back and paying attention in this way will enhance your inner voice and bring new insight. You can honor stillness while listening to others. By doing this, you will create better relationships and allow your inner light and love to shine out, out towards others as a means of communication. You may find it easier to feel this in your body. <clears throat> Excuse me. Imagine how it would feel to engage in what is being offered by another. For example, know how your body anticipate, anticipates a dinner you are invited to. Does it feel relaxed, relaxed and calm, or do you feel tight and stressed? Your body's response to an opportunity or a conversation might signal whether something is good is a good fit for you. Your body acts as a barometer. It takes in what is happening and gives you feedback accordingly. Listen to your body to receive more clarity. The Hawaiian monk seal is the only seal, seal native to Hawaii. It is currently an endangered species. Monk seals are ag agile, agile excuse me, and sleek in the water. They do not have external ears, just small openings. This symbolizes balance between our hearing and paying attention to inner, inner knowing. Monk seals are very curious. Curiosity and imagination can be the spark needed to create a new flow of energy. Listen to your inner voice or intuition and flow and follow the guidance you are receiving, Leo. I'm leaving it here. That was your reading. You guys let me know down in the comments if it resonated, how it resonated. Leave your like, shares, all of that good stuff. I love you. I love you. I love you. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.